All right, hello, and welcome back to another session of the 25th Ward, the Silver Case. Hope you guys are doing well, as always. Actually, um, I might have to do some uh, adjustments, eh? A bit too on the nose, maybe? Um, where's my option for gain? How much is my gain? It's like 1.5. Should I go 1 decibel or 1.25? I feel like I'm a bit loud, Burn. Right, I'm going to go for one. Uh, let's not confuse it as uh, 10. Because that's that happened. That has happened before. Um, Alright. Yeah, uh, today is an afternoon stream. It's been a while since I've done an afternoon stream. Usually I do it in the evening. Now, I think I usually do it in the afternoon. But uh, the past few days of the last three sessions... We've been doing uh, evening streams, evening recordings. Let's not quit the game. Circle is select. This is Japanese controls, I believe. I think. All right, so uh, so we did a good-looking guy, right? Yep. Always don't cry is the next one, but we're gonna take a little detour, right? We're gonna see what Suki. And uh, Osada is doing in uh, in the matchmaker, the quiet cradle. Yeah, let's see if we could bust out three. Whoa, got some rock music going on. What I was gonna say, yeah, bust out these uh, chapters. Live house, loud noise. What a name of a band, huh? Loud noise. Um, Judah, is that his name? I'm not gonna strain my voice. <laughs> hey, you motherfuckers. Do you know what you are? Do you fucking know what you are? You're all fucking garbage, right? Thanks. And we... We're gonna save your mother... We're gonna save you, motherfuckers. We're gonna save your asses with this Death Valley bomb sound. Worship us. Dev Valley Bomb. Isn't Death Valley Bomb uh I was gonna say a wrestling move, but it could it could have been like an actual Death Valley Bomb. Yeah. It's too early. It's too early for me to bust out the scream out. Exactly that will screw up my throat if I did if I did actually scream. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh stab. Shit. Whoa. Man got stabbed. You know, I've been uh, playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, Yakuza 7 um, recently, and well, I just finished it, so you know, a bit too on the <laughs> a bit too on the nose again. Alright, so RAB the Regional Adjustment Bureau. Suki, right? We're playing as. Alright, that was it. Yesterday at the Loud Noise Live House. This is the part of the incident that we got on film. Oh lord, looks like God went and got himself stabbed. What do you think, Asado? You're a fan, right? What do you mean, what do I think? The victim was Yutaro Yamashiro, also known as Judah Law, 28 years old. Uh, singer from the death band, uh, Death Valley Bomb. Death band? What, what, what did I just said? Alright, the, the perpetrator was Tomoko uh, Ozuya, 34 years old, an office working at Matsugane, a major trade conglomerate with headquarters in the 25th Ward. According to the staff who shot this video, Azuyu charged the stage from the floor, grabbed onto Yamashiro and stabbed him in the torso with a knife she had hidden. Ah, uh, Judah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know, calm the hell down. Security must be pretty half assed yeah, to have missed that knife. Alright, they're gonna need some guidance. We got, we got our own team? Well, makes sense. 
After that, the staff tried to hold Zuya down, but Zuya distracted them with a knife. And in a split second, she committed suicide using some sort of poison. Poison? This is the poison she used. Q. Alright, that's the main boss, right? What is this? Bloody high? Yeah. Shoot this into your neck and you get an intense feeling of euphoria. But at the same time, it causes the blood throughout your body to start boiling up. And kills you pretty quickly. Crack down on it pretty hard. But that caused a bunch of off-brand copycats produ uh, products to flood the market. So recently, it's supposed to be almost impossible to get. Even on the black market. And? And? What happened to Judah? He was taken to hospital just after Azuya died. So he didn't die? He didn't die, did he? Come back to me, Judah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. Calm the hell down. Uh, Nango, Mitsumoto. You two go check out Azuya and their perimeter. If Bloody High is circulating out in the field again, it's going to be a real problem. I don't know where it came from. Okay. Got it. Chief, please let me join the investigation. And also Suki-san. What the hell do you, do you mean also? Decided, uh, letting your own feelings get in the way is just going to cause trouble. I know this from experience. Understand? You better understand. I understand. Anyway, we'll let you know if we find anything out, okay? Nango, please do. Seriously. I know, I know. Alright, also. This next one is also a suicide, but it's a pretty serious matter for uh, for us. Uh, Ichigaya? Yes, sir. This is also some information we received yesterday. The diver, Yasushi Kamijo, committed suicide. Uh, Kamijo sounds familiar. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was in, he was in the good. He's the good-looking guy. GLG. Yabu-san. Kamijo, you mean that Kamijo, the first ever diver, basically a legend. Suicide. Maybe we've been found out. All right, yeah, he's trying to. Suki-san, Suki-san. Huh? One. Diver Kamijo, is he famous? Oh yeah. I guess I never told you about him. Kamijo was the first adjustment staff member trained by the Postal Federation. And is said to have been the first diver. Yeah. Wow, so he was first generation, huh? The divers back then were different from the way they are now. They mainly worked out in the field. But as part of their training uh, curriculum, oh, I was going to say circuit, they went out and adjusted people making even the slightest claims against the post office. Damn, that sounds like some hard work. But a lot of them just weren't able to cut it and end up leaving. Uh, in the end, Kamjo was the only one left. So they rehauled the whole business that made the delivery men the underlings of the divers. And they established the RA Bureau to take, uh, the, the <laughs> to take charge of both the divers and the delivery men. I see. But recently, we've gotten word that someone was leaking info about our existence to the AC unit. So the other day, the higher-ups decided to have Kamjo adjusted. But then he killed himself before they could adjust him. Basically, yeah. Uh, Yabu-san and the others had been staking him out, but... Kamajo. I don't think the investigation had been found out. We've been receiving point-by-point -point reports by uh, Yabukawa. And more importantly than anything, I trust you... Uh, yes, it's Kawa's work. <laughs> it's Kawa's work. But the, the problem isn't Kamajo's death himself. It's the way that he died. Yeah, he used poison uh, to kill himself in front of everyone inside a coffee shop. Wait, to, wait what is it? Wait, wait, can we? I, I need to go back. He said he killed himself in front of everyone. He didn't, he didn't say he killed everyone. I think I kind of got myself confused there. But that reminds me, I've heard that poison is sort of popular recently. Uh, there's some kind of toxic diet or something. I don't, I don't know about that. I think you have the detox diet, right? <laughs> All right. Why the hell would you drink poison to lose weight? Um, like, because if you're dead, your weight doesn't matter anymore <laughs> or something. I'm going to continue. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, that's as I got the HC unit moving. And here we go with the loser brigade. 
I want to avoid letting them find out about us. Yeah, but coward. They know, though. <laughs> Finally. Follow up on the hasty unit inspection. I'll allow adjustment of hasty unit investigators if necessary. Oh, shit. That's not a good sign. I'll clean up after you. Sasatani, you'll follow Yabukawa. Alright. Yabu-san? Yabukawa, don't let it get you, uh, to you. It's not your fault things turn out like this. I understand. I'll follow the HC unit. And finally, Tsuki and Asado? Yes, sir. What is it? About the two phone calls related to the incident at the high-rise apartments the other day. We still have no idea who the woman uh, was, but we figured out the other one. That call? Which call? <laughs> Alright, in the apartment, yeah. I thought it was the same person, but nope. Alright, it's not me. That's you, isn't it? Yep, they said this. Nope, not mine. It's Ijima's phone. Don't answer it. Let the answering service get it. Alright, so are they both dead? Alright. To whoever may be listening in. The 25th ward is done. And your lifelines have burned out. The hunters are about to become the hunted. Prepare yourselves. Yo, yeah. There better be a good fight scene between Asada, Tsuki, and the HC unit. If not, I'm not going to be happy. Okay. Uh, I just completely skipped that. I think they analyzed. Uh, we were able to narrow it down to a man living in an apartment... In the 25th ward named Tomoya Shonai. Shonai? It was almost too easy. Is there a trap? Possibly. Even if it is, we're just going to have to force our way through it. Anyway, secure the Shana, uh, you know, Shonai guy and find out everything you can. Get out the target's details. Please be sure to have a look later on. Still just a little bud, but I get a feeling that a dangerous fire is about to come into full bloom. If everyone starts catching out wind of our existence, then make sure to stamp out their existence first. This is crazy. Got it? Got it. Leave it to us. Sado, don't screw up this up. Uh, yeah, never mind. Very fucked up the line. I know. <laughs> no problem. Really? That is all. Now let's go. It's Power Rangers time. Hey, is this music? Yeah, this was in the silver case, right? Maybe not, actually. I think this is... Okay, 25th today. Or 25 today. Here we go. Yep, that's it. Don't know what I... I don't know. Oh, item. 25th of the oh, RRI right, is his news. His little, his little alien occult paper. Silver glowing aliens nicknamed Silverians. Uh, silver glowing aliens. The sending suggestions for these aliens' official nickname. We received over 10,000 entries. Um, the winning entry was Tai Chi uh, Koike. Submission Silverians. 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 Alright, who gives a damn? Maybe I should have sent in an entry too. The sparkly greys or something. Nope. That sucks. Hey, Suki. Ah, Yobu-san. How's it going? Well, cool scene, cool scene. So, how's the Sado doing? Sado? He's in Mount Black. Um, well, I can't even say it properly. Mount Black. Blanc. Mount Blanc. At his desk right now. A guy, he eats the cake part first and then eats the chestnut part by itself afterwards. That's just chestnut, chestnuts. And chestnut flavor cake, right? So I gave him a lecture on how to eat properly Mount Blanc. Could be eaten as Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc? Mont Blanc? Oh no, I mean, uh, that's... Oh, whatever. I meant, you know, about that thing. Ah, sorry, I get kind of worked up about this. Anyway, it sounds like he's doing okay based on what you just told me. For now, yeah. Tsuki. Yes? Go and Sado, you guys are close, huh? No, uh, not really. Like that time of the high rise, I almost killed Sado. 
I know. Always killed his ass right now. You say that, but you took full responsibility for everything. Well, yeah, I'm his senior. It was a bit of poor supervision, I guess. You look after him well, you know. It's your past that makes you that way. Huh? Does it? Anyway, take good care of Asado. It's best if he stays in the dark. Okay. Um, Yabu-san. It's about Kamajo, right? Yeah. I probably shouldn't be bringing this up myself, but... Are you somehow going to be held responsible for Kamajo's suicide? It should be, yeah. Huh? It was me who trained Kamajo. Well, to be specific, I was the one of the people who brought him up. There were several people who were assigned to train Kam Kamajo as a diver. I think the Abukao is dead. I was gonna... I, I think the HCU is gonna kill him. We really trained the hell out of him. We made him into a killing machine. So it was me who should have had to end it for him. It was my responsibility as the one who brought him up in the first place. Back in the day, I was fully concentrated on fostering Kamajo as a diver. Damn, I don't know. I I I don't know if that mute got through, but uh, I had doubts to speak of, and that hasn't changed. Well, it shouldn't have, at least. What do you mean? When I heard he ki he killed himself, I was extremely saddened. I guess I must have known since long ago that I fell that way once he was no longer here. But I rejected those feelings. I think I felt that if I didn't. Then I ended up subconsciously rejecting myself. What well, exactly was the life of Yasushi Kamajo? Uh, and one of me, the man who brought him up. What about you? How do you feel about your work? I was taken in by the chief. Uh, he provided me with another chance at life. I'm just trying to repay that debt to him. You really focus, aren't you? Yeah, that's good. Tsuki. The 25th ward is a cradle. Here we go. A cradle? A cradle under total surveillance and control. Our job is basically to make sure that the people sleeping soundly in that cradle don't wake up. Actually, we may be asleep uh, in our very cradle ourselves. Yabu-san, let's not talk about this anymore. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. Maybe it's because I'm getting old. But my head's been getting filled with stupid things like this. You know? Anyway, I'm just going to go to con I'm just going to concentrate about on the following up on Kamajiro's death. That may help us f to figure out something. Ah, Yabu-san. Got some info on the HC unit's movements. Oh, yeah? Alright, then, uh, Sasa uh, yeah, Sas uh, Satane. That's Satane. Let's go. I'd like to bring the car around first. Oh, you to bring the car. I'll see you in the parking lot. Suki, I'm off. Oh, okay. The HC unit. If they get in the way, please adjust them if necessary. Hey, come on now. Don't be forcing heavy lifting onto an old man like that. Alright, see you later. Damn, these guys are trouble. Yabu-san. Yeah, they're trouble. <laughs> these guys are trouble. But are we the baddies? Who's the baddie? I don't think any of these guys are. suki san Alright, 12 o'clock. It's a stakeout. Uh, what are we doing? I don't even know what our mission is. Alright, oh, we're finding the guy, right? Oh, it's you. Just surprised me like that. Well, why are you doing spacing out like that in the first place? Oh, it was nothing. Anyway. I brought us some food and drinks. Nice, thanks. What? What the hell is this? What? It's soy milk and seaweed salad. Seriously? Listen, you ever seen anyone drinking soy milk and eating seaweed salad on the goddamn steakhouse? I mean, it's times like this when you're in for the long haul that you need to be extra careful with your diet, you know? What the hell are you talking about? Come on, eat up. Son of a... Oh, nothing's about this situation feels like a proper stakeout. I say that, but you're eating it. Shut up. Hey, Suki-san, can we go over the materials of the target one more time? Huh? But yeah, let's do that. Uh, are we? 
document. Here we go. Uh, Shonai uh, Tomoya. 28. He's unemployed. 25th ward. 229.826. Oh, 206. Sorry, 206. Uh, parents living in the 24 wards. Uh, after graduating university, started to work at a provision equipment manufacturer, but resigned almost immediately. Currently living off of the rem remainants. Remainants. <laughs> remnants. Of his savings. The reason given for resignation was officially stated as poor physical health. It was actually due to mental health issues. Really goes outside, spends most of the days inside his apartment. Very few friends, really passive personality, huh? Why would a guy like that have contact with the delivery guys? Oh, it's his hidden side. Just to show that you can't judge a book by its cover. Anyway, our first priority is securing the Shinai. What? Why am I not saying his name right? Shinai. So he gets back to his apartment. We bust in and grab him, yeah? That's right. And no killing. Yeah, no adjustments this time, okay? I know. Ah, Suki san. He's here. We've got company. Just entered the apartment building. Okay, let's go X Guard out, I guess. If a salad does kill, I'll laugh my ass off. I'll give it a good bro moment. Well, guy with no income. He's living in a pretty nice place. Okay, so how do we get the door? Maybe we should go around the back? Let's just go in through this door like we own the place. Can't just walk right in. The fucking door's locked. By the way, how do you open this thing anyway? There's no keypad to input a code or anything. <laughs> yeah, Tsuki san, check this out. Huh? What's this? This is what's called the keyhole to this place. Keyhole? This is what's called the jack in type of interface that's been getting really popular. Oh, the jack in. We know. We're familiar about jacking in. Flower Sun Rain taught us that. Not very good with technology, are you, Tsuki san? Fuck off. Anyway, I'll explain. For this type, you plug in a special terminal and input a kind of pin code which locks and unlocks the console. Then we need the special terminal, don't we? That would be this. Whoa, Sado got it? Oh my god, it actually is the thing. What's that? Third, I'm pretty sure I had a suitcase for it. It's a code breaking machine developed by the RA Bureau Textile. It's called the Catherine Nano, yeah. It's called Catherine the Suitcase. Wait, so does that mean that Mondo was an RA? I don't even know anymore. Alright, Catherine Nano. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's like the iPod Nano. It's a general use terminal, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I we know. You just plug it in and input a pin code and it'll open the door. Damn, good reference. I like that. Good reference. Good reference. Uh, the prototype was called La uh, Lathrin. <laughs> Catherine was about the size of a laptop computer. But thanks to the hard work of our tech staff, after a few changes in the model, they're able to build a much smaller machine like this one. Check out this thickness. It's almost as thin as a credit card. Hold up. Doing with this machine, isn't it kind of pointless if we don't know the pin code? Not to worry. I've already looked into that. Huh? What the hell, man? You're actually doing your job for a change. Well, I mean, I screwed up pretty badly at the high rise, so I really kicked it into high gear for this one. Alright, nice one. So, what's the code? Um, it's 9822. 9822, alright? Let's see what the Catherine Nano can do. Oh, give me the soundtrack. Please give me the Catherine soundtrack. Will, will it happen? Let's find out. No, it won't. We won't have the call cool soundtrack. Uh, was it 9822? I mean, this is, I guess you could call Catherine. But was it? I'm pretty sure this was in the silver case, right? But I think it's using the sound effects from Flower Stone Rain. I'm pretty sure, this, pretty sure it was different in the in the first game. Wow, well, buying the Mont Blanc. A Mont Blanc. <laughs> A Mount Blanc. Blank. Blanc? What the fuck am I saying? All right, let's move in. Get my ass in there, you know? The 
the apartment itself just has a regular lock. Maybe we should try the intercom. There's no way this is unlocked. Huh? This door, I think it's open. Hey, so it is. This guy's pretty careless. Yuki-san, let's bust on in. No, hold on. This feels pretty sketchy. We know that uh, Shonai went into the apartment. Our number one priority is securing him, right? Well, yeah, but... Okay, I guess we'll just go in. We've got to be careful. Stay on guard. Got it. Okay, um... Hello? Hello? Girl Scout cookies. Oh, no. Is the doors open? Okay. Oh, no. Take it... We're taking it slowly. Oh, no. We can speed it up. Don't I? Room. The computer room. 12.50. Show Nye's room. Does it seem like he's here? Is this place empty? Sorry for my yawning. Is this place empty? No, it can't be. We saw him go in, right? But there's seriously nobody here. No way. Asada, it's too dark in here. Find the switch and turn the lights on. Okay. Ah, uh, is this it? Look at this place. This guy really has his shit together. Tsuki-san, behind you! Oh my fucking god. What the fuck did you... You didn't notice? He doesn't have a great face. I've been here the whole time. It's because I've almost no longer existed in this world in a way. I guess I'm hard to notice. Wah! Wah! <laughs> I need to keep a bit more on my game. Anyway, no longer is this. What? Sh shit, what the hell? I don't have much time, so I'll explain this simply, okay? You don't have much time? What do you mean? You just fucking explain that I don't have much time. I'm just gonna keep this short. Don't ask fucking questions. Huh? Wow, I got a bit of a halt up there. Sorry. Anyway, I'll explain. So are you two in the same line of work as that delivery guy? So he doesn't know anything about us, in that case. Yeah, we're delivery men too. You guys are pretty scary working as delivery men. They're killing all those people like that. I mean, like, you guys find, like, these people, like, on the fringes of society and, like, cut them down. Like me, for example, like, like, one of these days, you were, like, gonna kill my ass too. Wouldn't you, you fox? <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? Uh, of course we weren't gonna do that. Uh, we're good little delivery men, you know? Right? I said, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. You fucking liar. <laughs> I know. They taught me. You kill and kill and kill some more and get rid of anyone. Not 5th or the 25th one, am I wrong? But that's all over now. What? Kamoi is coming. You know Kamoi, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I call him Kamoi. Isn't it Kamui? Uh, Kamui's gonna come. I call him Kamoi for some reason. Like there's an O in it. Uh, Kamui. Ooh, uh, I, I, fuck it, I'm gonna call him Kamoi. Fuck it. It's my little name. I know I'm pronouncing it one. On that note, I've got a little piece of fun I want to share. You two. Yeah, somewhere in this room, there's a locked jack-in box. I've broke the terminal. I mean, I'm sure you guys can do something about that, though. There's a key inside the box. If you use that key to open the door to a certain room, there's some people waiting for you. And what happens if we go there? What will be a hint connected to Kamoi. Uh, I bet you're curious, aren't you? Nah, screw it. I'm going to call him Kamui. Sorry. Uh, it's like you guys, natural enemy. Of course you're curious, huh? You fucking punk. Looks like we have a winner. <laughs> well, yeah, well, so. I'll give you a hint about the pin code for the box. The hint is something different about this room. Look real hard. Okay, I'm off now. Oh, well, in that case. Uh, you really fucking think we're gonna let you walk? You're coming with us. Asado? Got it. Okay, you better be a good boy now. Get the fuck away from me. I'm about to present this body to Kamui. Oh shit. Yo, he doesn't look... <laughs> that, 
Is that bloody high? Yeah, he looks very... Uh, Shonai is, uh... He's looking very... Looking like a damn fucking zombie. Alright, stop him, Masato! Okay. Too late. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, he's dead. A sense of euphoria, but the blood pushes all out. Um, fuck! Planned this from the very start. Suki san. This guy said Kamui, did he? Yeah. What the hell is going on? I'm bloody fucking high. What do we do, Suki san? We're now contact Majima. Um, let's, uh, take care of Shonai. We need to get this all cleaned up, including any evidence that we were here. Okay. Also, I guess we should, uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to find the fucking box or whatever this dickhead was talking about. Fuck, this pisses me off. Alright, let's look around. I saw to check out this computer here. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary about the day data stored. Oh, why did I say data? Come on. Uh, data. I <laughs> start on this computer. What's this? What's up? Looks like this guy was accessing part of the Dark Net. A part restricted to the non 25th Ward residents. Dark Net. The site he was visiting most often was. Kamui Ned 25? Damn. Lee Sane Zone Hub 25. Uh, freaking out bad. A while back. Any details? Nope. I'm getting cut off at the entrance. We're gonna take some time to analyze this. I see. Shit. We'll bring this back to the RA Bureau for inspection. Okay. So how deep does uh, Kamui corrosion of the 25th Ward go? Uh, are we looking around anywhere else? But seriously, this room is so clean and well-maintained. It's kind of weird. Look at this. This desk here. The pencil and pens and stuff are all arranged perfectly by length and height. It's like the exact opposite of your desk. Yours too. Is it... Oh no. Oh, the... The the bookshelf. Probably sorted all these fucking books too. Huh? This part here. These books are all out of order. 335, 2A10. Is that in? Is that what we're looking for? We're gonna be in this goddamn room for a while. All right. Should we look? Alright. 335, 25... Was it 3352810? Alright. Let's talk to, uh... Alright, I got a hold of Mage Man. Uh, they'll be here 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Begin to look. I think we talk again. 3352810. Now the box, the box. I don't see it anywhere. Huh? Suki san. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, it looks like this This is the box. Now for the pink one. Something different in this room. Uh, should we go in? 335. Let's put in. 335. 2, 8, 10. Is it a hit or a miss? There's a hint. It's a key. It opened. This is the key. I wonder what this key goes to. More keys, huh? Oh, we had enough in that uh, 25th ward. Hey, it's from Majima. Hello? Oh, yeah, okay. Are you in front of the building now? I'll go get you for a moment. Just a moment. Okay, see ya. Alright, I'm gonna go get Majima. Okay, thanks. Key, huh? It's Nango. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Uh-huh, yeah. From Ozia's computer. Yeah. Kamui Net 25? Uh, so Ozia has been visiting Kamui Net 25. Uh, I'll tell Sato. Thanks. Kamui. I kind of like Kamui continue to exist. 
No matter what, Kamui? Kamui. Kamui? Kamui. I think I'm gonna call it Kamui. I don't know, I don't even remember what I said uh, <laughs> in the previous sessions. Oh shit, here again? Oh, we're going to the key master again. Not again. What was the option? Is this it? He said that he praised the key for us. This is a convenience store, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. By the way, you remember the password, right? Let me use the WC. That's it. Is this for you, real? Time to go in. Oh, is it going to be a different uh, convenience store guy? Even the interior is 100% convenience store. Excuse me? Let me use the WC. Oh no, it's still there. Come on. Come in. Come on. <laughs> go through the door in the back. Take your ride. Go through the front of the door. Yeah. You're riding the in section. Get through this. Well, are we actually have to put the keys? Damn, the toilet is pretty far. <laughs> put whining and just go. Please don't tell me we have to do the keys. Dungeon. Yep. Alright, we don't have it. Okay then. Alright, it opened. Let's go. Huh? Is that okay? It felt like some sort of riddle or something. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. I can't believe I did this like first try as well. That's the best part. I guess we get TP to the WC. Yeah. Hey, it's the bathroom. We're here, Tsuki san. I wonder what the scene looks like. Alright. Is it inside here? Yeah. My apologies for the wait. Next. Oh, welcome. Oh, look, it's Mr. S uh, Mr. Tsuki. It's been so long. Hi, Mr. Okamoto. Well, how nost nostalgic. And who is this? He's my current partner. I see. Well, he certainly exudes... What? It just skipped. What the fuck? What can I do today? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think my controller got... <laughs> whoa. That's the first. Um, I, could... I think my controller is like kind of unplugging. And it, it sped up. Alright, I'll leave you with the key. Okay, be my guest. Please wait a moment. Doogie sign. You know this guy? Kinda, yeah. We go back a ways. Also, your current partner. Yeah, forget about it. Damn, it's gonna be a sad time when these guys die. It's pretty cramped with the two people in the bathroom. Sorry for the wait. The appraisal has concluded. So, how did it go? This key goes to... One thing after another, he said this this happened before, didn't it? We would get there. Oh, into the <laughs> God damn it. Into the inner cafe again. Hmm. Apparently, it's an underground room. I wonder what kind of people are waiting for us down there. I don't know, but I doubt they're gonna be good little boy scouts. Oh, pardon me. You ready? Super ready. Someone's gonna pay for Judah. Just don't fuck this up. Let's go. Okay. Oh, Judah! <laughs> Alright, we're taking the basement. We're not going to the end there, cafe. This is in the same area. Let's move. And speed up our walk. This is the door. He's gonna be inside. We're going in. Art warehouse. What's this? It looks like some kind of art storage house. Suki san. Over there. Looks like this is the door. There's a pin cone input panel here. Huh? 
pin code is in English characters. In English pin code. Well, it doesn't really make sense because <laughs> the game's in English. Yeah, but everyone's Japanese, right? Because we're from the Kanto region. Suki san. Wanna try the input panel? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I don't even know what it is. Wait, what's the What? I don't even know what it is, son of a gun. What if, what if that was around? The scenes. I guess that's not it. What the hell is the answer? I don't even know what it... What? Talk. Tsuki-san. What? This room. There's something different about this room too. Something different? You mean like how Shanae's apartment felt? No, this is something else. All I know is that it feels weird somehow. Okay, continue on. Check out the pictures hanging to this door. Alright, here we go. They're called Beach Girl in Summer. I'll eat the autumn eggplant. My hot winter, so it's spring. Okay. Very easy. If detective work is like this, I have no problems. I know the answer. It is spring. Bingo. It's back this way. Pitch black. Masato, stay on guard. Okay. Welcome, you poor things. Uh, we're in the church. One. <laughs> uh. Yeah, come on now. Not even uh, who the hell are you, assholes, or anything? Well, I mean, I'm still trying to process this aesthetic you guys got going. So, uh, who are you all? <laughs> In that case, I will guess I have to explain. We are an organized forum for the purpose of bringing the advent of Kamui uh, to 25th Ward. And we are known as the Kamui Fan Club pending. Kamui Fan Club pending? Open parentheses, pending, closed parentheses. Uh, we haven't officially decided on a name yet. That's why it's pending. <laughs> Open parentheses, pending, closed parentheses. That part isn't important. Anyway, it seems as though you've accepted our invitation. I don't know how I feel about this. You got the guy with the very sim similar mustached K armband. Bunch of guys looking like generals here. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Alright, we're not here because we're fucking wannabe. Um, it's our job. Job? I've heard about you. Your job is murder, isn't it? Oh, how scary. And tools of the establishment are that. We can't abide. We just can't abide, you know? So, uh, why did you call us here? Yes. That's an excellent question. We want you two to help us summon Kamui here. Sado, how about we just go home? Yeah, let's. Hey, hey, wait. This is bullshit. We have more important stuff to do. So, uh, I'm going to be calling the cops later. So, have fun with that. Fuck, you idiots. Look at that. I'm going to talk seriously with you. It's not that we want you to do anything specific. We're going to offer you up as a sacrifice. Sacrifice? So, have you finally figured out exactly what this place is? A summoning circle? I think we have to get, uh, have you, uh, what the hell? Have, what the hell? Wait, hold on, hold on, Jeff. I think we'll have you two give your lives to Kumai. As Shonai did. Alright. He did uh, uh, of his own violation, but still. Hey. Well then, what about Tomiko Ozia? She had something to do with you people too, didn't she? How perceptive. 
That's exactly right. But in her case, that was on experiment with Bloody High. She offered to kill the that idiot Death Valley bomb singer. He keeps calling himself a god. And to give her life to become the guinea pig for our experiment. His fans are really upset. Especially me. <laughs> Shut up. Alright. Chat time's over. Now let us give them an honorable death. Come. Kamui. Survey. 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 What the fuck? Savior. Jesus. Brains like not processing words. An offering gilded with blood. Gilded? Gal- Oh, I don't even know. We're surrounded. Damn, we're in a type spot. Ah, ah. We're dead. We're gonna die. <laughs> Cry, scream. Let Kamui hear you. What? What do we do? <laughs> oh, Suki san, why you have to go and laugh? I was trying to really hard to match the mood here. You're a really shitty actor, man. Totally wooden. Really? Thought I was doing pretty well, actually. Uh, hey! What the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> so, did you really think you were gonna kill us when this is all the people you've got? That's just not gonna work. What kind of weapons do you have? I think I peeked the mic there. Uh, that steel pipe? There's like, what, 12 of you? You guys are clearly beginners. What? Look, frankly, you're all just fucking around, right? You guys argue over who gets to play Kamoi next. Play? Seeing green ass dickheads like you losers talking about life and death is just kind of hilarious. Also, when you kill someone, Asado, show them. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah! Ah! G -g -g gun Totally underestimating your opponent's firepower, too. Give us a bit of a goddamn credit, you know? Damn, I'm surprised we just straight up killed a guy. Whatever. Anyway, let's leave the top monkey alive and adjust the shit out of all the rest of them. Got it. Well, since I have your permission... Wait, adjust? Yeah, like this. Damn, big moves coming out. And that's number three. Too damn slow. That's no good. I've already done five myself. Nice one, Suki-san. With a knife. This guy's, uh... Okay. He goes number four. Ah. Ah. <laughs> we done? I think so. Yo, look at these cool guys. So Suki, you just use a knife. He doesn't use a weapon. Or uh, a firearm, shall we say. Well, that's about it. Suki, you finish? Hey, perfect timing. It's just th this guy left. Ah, look, look um, please, please help me. We we're, were just an underground chat group. And this was just, like, a, a joke. Like, we just wanted to see what it would be like. And, uh, like, I'll tell you everything. A joke? Jokes shouldn't produce bodies, you know. Right? Also, we don't give a shit about your confession. We can just get what we need directly from your squishy-ass brain. This guy, Majima here, he's an excellent cleaner. He's gonna pull all that information we need straight out of your brain and clean everything up for us. I called up ahead of time to reserve his services. So that's why he's here. Yep. Anyway, why don't we get along then? Uh, get going then. Not even get along. I'm not letting you go to your totally uh, a total vegetable. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm actually not. Huh? 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 What? Come on, we're taking him in. Okay. No! 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 What? What? No, no, no! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Somebody! Anybody! He's dead. Alright. Anybody? My man finna dead. My, fan, my man finna being lobotomized. Right here. Oh, Mam Blank. Go award for the other day. Thanks. Eat it properly, alright? I know. Anyway, how about it? Tsuki san. Huh? Oh, Ichigaya. Finished with the analysis? It's finished. First of, uh, Kamui Ned 25 comprised several organizations 
of, of Kamui believers. It's a dark net community. It's full of people who felt trapped and hopeless in their lives or jobs. It appears that Kamui is being worshipped there as some sort of savior. He's going to release them from this hopelessness. He basically turned Kamui into a sort of god, and the believer will release the 25th ward by raining down confusion and destruction. So, Kamui is a god, huh? Some bullshit counterfeit tossed out there by Kamui Nan. Alright, Kamui fan club pending was one of the newer up and coming organizations. It seems as though they caused the incident earlier in order to get more attention around Kamui Net 25. So there's a bunch of assholes who wanted attention. Inside Kamui Net 25, it appears as though there are various groups who veered away from the original purpose of the community's establishment and have been infighting pretty badly and trying to steal each other's members. That's probably due to the fact that they seem to believe that the bigger an organization gets, the closer they'll be able to be. Uh, the, the, what the hell? They'll be to get to Kamui upon his return, and it also appears to be a sort of demonstrative behavior as well. Also, Kamui at. Well, fucking. It shut down, alright. Yes. Because they noticed that we're checking them out? I'm not sure, but it looks like a person involved in the establishment of Kamui Net 25 has been sending out all sorts of information. Who is it? I couldn't pin down the name, but the handle was translator. The purported to be Kamui spokesman. Spokesman? It appears that Yasushi's and Gawa also received information from the translator and went off and caused that little incident earlier. Who's Gawa? Leader of the Kamui fan club pending. <laughs> Who was brought in? Oh, that dumbass, huh? So, does that mean that his brain scan has been finished? Yes, I received the report from Majima. So, this is Engoa's customer. Engoa customer? Well, what the fuck? I'm skipping too fast, yeah. After having all the information his brain pulled out, he was released. Well, I guess we got one more mindless zombie while wandering around the 25th floor then. Majima's cleanings are pretty scary. He lost all his linguistic abilities too, so there's no risk of having any information left. Elite. Also, according to Majima's report. One. Near the end of the inspection, apparently he kept the repeating words ocean and planetarium. Ocean and planetarium. I believe he's referring to the one that recently built in the Bay Area. Yeah. I guess we should go check it out. What, the 26th ward? Hey, Osato, you done eating yet? Yep, thanks. We're taking off. Ah, okay. Where are we going? Seaside planetarium. Never mind, it's just a planeta actual planetarium. It's said near the Bay Area, so is this part of the 26th ward? I don't know. Or near the 26th ward? Tsuki-san, you don't really care about stars and stuff, do you? Nope. I don't give a shit. So, why are we going to the planetarium? Looks like we got another goddamn invitation. What? So, is it the pending guys again? No. Uh, it's not those green-ass fucking amateurs. My good tells me this time we're dealing with pros. Alright. Are we moving in? Damn, it's closed up. Was today an off day? Shouldn't be. What's this marking here? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I believe this is the Sagittarius. Horoscope, yeah. The pin code. I've seen the mark on the wall somewhere before. Uh, look. Oh, I, oh no, I got it right. Yeah, there we go. Sagittarius. There's a list of the 12 si signs of the zodiac. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Dates are used in what's called the Tropic Bull System. It's used in Western astrology. You know some pretty weird shit. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that was a compliment. So that's what the marking on the door was. That means... Uh, what was it? When Sagittarius, it was the... 
Off one. It might be a... Oh, we'll look again. It's probably... We'll get to it. September, October... It's a November one. November 22nd to December 21st. All right. Catherine. All right, here we go. So November 21, right? Or 22nd and December 21. There we go. It opened. We can see the star-filled sky inside. We'll see. So what the hell is going to happen next? Nothing's going to happen. And who might you be? Suspicious man, suspicious man. My apologies, I'm afraid I can't tell you my real name just yet. Do you mind if I use my handle name? Oh, so you're the translator. That's impressive. Huh? Tsuki-san, you know this guy? I'll explain later. He's basically a puppeteer. That's not exactly the most appropriate explanation, but let's just go with that for now. What do you want? Nothing much. Just a quick meet and greet. Anyway, do you enjoy the opening show? Huh. The players were all a bunch of amateurs. Oh, were they? Would you have preferred them to be a bit more seasoned? Well, the stage is about to get really livened up. So you've got that to look forward to. Some of my players have a long history with Suki too. Motherfucker. Please don't look so scary. I want you to enjoy the show. Okay, then we've got business with you, too. So here it is. How about you come with us? Oh, I'm afraid none. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I've got lots of work to do. Also, I'm being summoned by my boss. Your boss? Who's that? Don't worry, you'll meet them soon enough. I I'm assuming that Nakane guy. And by the way, I've sent a present to your workplace. Please accept it. It's a bit old, but... <laughs> present? Well, I must be leaving now. Like we're gonna let you go. Anyway, let's just grab him, Suki san <laughs> See you again soon. Ah, the flashbang. <laughs> huh? He disappeared. No, he didn't. He didn't uh flashbang us. I don't really get it, but I guess he's got he got away. Fuck, what the hell? It was a flash, oh no, it was a flash. Then what happened? What do we do, Suki san We're gonna hurry back to the bureau. Okay. I'm gonna explode. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, who's gonna die? Ah, uh, ah, uh, nobody's here. Suki-san, you, you, you're too fast. Looks like nothing arrived for me. Hi. Oh, hey, Sasa. Why isn't Yabu-san with you? We split up to follow the HC unit. I'm following up on two detectives named Ayoma and Nakama. And Yabu-san is looking after Kuryananagi <laughs> and Shiro Yabu. Kuryananagi and Shiro Yabu. Man, the one uh, called Kuryanagi. This female detective, she's pretty hot. Hello? Alright. I would have preferred to go after her instead. I see. Sasa. Check Yabu-san's ID signal. Huh? Alright. What's up, Suki-san? Isn't that present thing bothering you? Huh? What present? Oh, just this thing. Huh? What's wrong? Yabu-san's signal is stopped in front of the bureau's door. Why doesn't he come inside? 
Uh oh. He's dead. Sugi san. Sugi san. What's going on? Uh oh. What the hell? Y Yabu san. What happened, Yabu san? Yabu san, Yabu san. I'm down. But Yabu, the blood. All that blood. He's dead. Look at him. What? Why? Ah. Uh, Sugi san. Is this what he was talking about? Yeah, this must be it. A motherfucker. Yabu san. I guess there's no internal peace for you, but. But. Is this really the place you want to sleep for eternity? Fucking 25th ward? Damn. What, was he the present? I don't. <laughs> I don't follow. What was the present? I was assuming it was a bomb. I'm guessing he was the present. Alright, back at the... What's it called? The loud house. No. The loud noise. Live house, the loud noise. Sorry to worry everyone. The injuries from that instant, they've all healed up. I never thought I'd be back up on stage again. To be honest, I was scared. But, but, I want to sing again. I was able to feel this way because a certain being gave me power. The grand and noble son. I offered this song to Kumui. Alright. You are getting uh, influenced. And that ends the chapter, right? All right, I think a uh, good time to uh, take a break, as per usual. Uh, save the data. Get asked to uh, placebo, yeah. All right, Tigri. Tigri? Tigiri. All right, let's take a break, though. As I... All right. Okay, let's add the marker. And, yeah. Break time. <laughs>